Hi guys. So today let's talk about how to create frequency table and frequency distribution in Excel from a given row data set like this one. The first thing I'd like you guys to consider is that this data set is for qualitative data. But that doesn't mean you cannot create tables for quantitative data that we will cover in the next video. So let's get right into it. Now, this data set only consist of one variable and that is the last name and as you explore the data set you can see that there are different surnames and all of them actually repeat so what one would like to do is to have a summary of this data set and the best way to start is creating a frequency table how we would do that is the first thing to do is give your table headings that is, you want last name, you want to calculate frequency for each, the frequency for each last name. One might want to calculate the relative frequency, the percentage frequency, cumulative frequency, cumulative percentage frequency, and so on in your table. So for the last names, as you explore the data set, we can see that there are six different last names. So what we would do, we would copy the six different last names paste them under our heading and then from there we will calculate or rather count how many browns we have in the data set and in the previous video we actually spoke about it certain function called the count if function that we will use for situations like this and that is for the count if the range we know that it's the whole column a and then the criteria will be the surname brown we've got seven browns so the next thing is we will autofill we don't have to do it for every surname and the best way to count how many surnames you have in total in your data set is from the frequencies you can already use the auto sum button in the in, in the home tab and you can see you have got 50. Next, we would like to calculate the relative frequency. We know that the relative frequency is equal to the frequency divided by the total number of elements in the data set. In this case, it's equals to the frequency of brown, which is seven. You re relatively reference the cell and divide by the 50, but you want to, to absolute reference the cell and how you would do that is press F4 in your keyboard and you have it at 0.14. Then you still autofill, you have your, your relative frequencies. Now for percentage frequency, we know that that is equals to the relative frequency multiplied by 100. Then we autofill again. Now. Already we have a summary of the data set and we can already make comments about the data set. Like if you observe on Smith, the frequency is 12 and it's the highest frequency. So we can actually see from the, the summary that the most common surname is Smith. And by looking at the percentage frequencies, we can actually see that 24% of the data set is Smith and that is the highest percentage. Now, for someone that appreciates graphical representation of data set, there are many different representations that we can look at. First of all, let's look at the bar chart, which represent the frequencies. How you would go about co constructing or creating one is you would select with the headings, the last names together with the frequencies, and then click on the insert tab you will have a chart ribbon in there that gives you the different charts that you can actually create now for us we want to create the bar chart now we will create the bar chart that is in column format that is we click on column and then we click on the 2d columns and then we have it of course this is just one budget that if someone that doesn't know what the data is about they wouldn't understand so we would have to actually edit our creation and how we would do that is we would give it a title double click or click on the title I mean 
and then edit it give it a, a heading that will actually be understandable where you'll have a bar a bar chart for the most common the most common last names now not only can you give your chart a heading or title you can also on the layout tab edit the whole at the whole bar chart you can actually give a label to your axis both horizontal and vertical axis this is the last names and you can also do for the vertical and say it's frequencies now like I said there's a lot of graphical representation that one can do on on data say now the other representation that you would like to do is a pie chart and the, for the pie chart you want to represent it by the percentage frequencies how you would do that let's select the last names and press control on your keyboard because you don't want frequencies and relative frequencies press control on your keyboard and then select the percentage frequencies now after selecting that you want to then click on insert insert and then you've got your pie chart you insert the pie chart now this is another representation just like this you can also give it you can also give it the heading bar chart for them or pie chart for the most common last name and then here you can see there are different layouts for the pie chart that you can actually choose from one that actually gives in the percentage in the pie chart one that actually gives in the percentages and then gives in a legend and a lot more if you scroll down now from both the pie chart and the bar chart we can see that smith stands out it takes out the highest the highest for example it takes out the highest piece of the pie chart and it has the highest bar in the bar chart so like I said before, there are a lot of graphical representations that you can choose from and they will all say the same thing about the data. So the, the best way to actually get to understand this is by going and playing around with it and you will appreciate that there is a lot that you can do in Excel in representing your data or summarizing your data. Thank you very much. I hope this was helpful.